Hey, what's up, you guys? How's it going? So it's November, and where I live, we are at the pinnacle of fall's beauty, and that really got me thinking about how in so many video games, this season is just represented really perfectly. So I wanted to talk to you guys today about my personal top five favorite autumn areas in video games. So without further ado, let's just jump into the list. So starting out at number 5, I couldn't have a list like this without including the Season of Autumn from Pokemon Black 2 and White 2 somewhere. Because while these certainly weren't my favorite Pokemon games ever, I absolutely loved the season changing mechanic in them and I hope it comes back in the future. When it's actually autumn, there's some areas in the game that are nothing short of breathtaking. I love how the terrain changes so that the entire world has this more orangey and autumnal hue to it. Leaves all over the ground and the subtle details of having these leaves blowing through the air. While the changes in season don't affect the gameplay too incredibly much outside of these slight terrain alterations in the the overworld and sewer, and aesthetic changes of the Sawsbuck line, for some reason I still really, really love Autumn in these games. But since there's nothing too unique about it, I, I really can't put any higher on this list than number 5. So this one's gonna be a bit of an outlier aesthetically, but I absolutely had to include it because this world is synonymous with fall to me. The Nightmare Before Christmas is, in my opinion, the best Halloween movie ever made, and having the opportunity to explore such a unique area is absolutely perfect. I love how the aesthetics match the movie so perfectly that you can almost feel the chilly fall air as you're running around Halloween Town fighting through Heartless. On top of that though, this was the first costume change I had ever experienced it in Kingdom Hearts game, so seeing Sora, Donald, and Goofy's new looks that they had just to blend in with the citizens of the world just made me really, really happy. Who doesn't just get a huge grin on their face when they enter the world and the oh so familiar instrumental version of This Is Halloween starts playing in the background while you get to run around all over creation with the Pumpkin King himself, Jack Skellington. In my opinion, you can't have Halloween without Autumn, and you can't have Autumn Autumn without Halloween. And so that's why Halloween Town from Kingdom Hearts is number four on this list, because it's just so tonally perfect. Now Stardew Valley is just one of those games where you just belong in fall the whole time. At least whenever I play games like Story of Seasons, Stardew Valley, or Harvest Moon, autumn is by far the best season because to me this is when your farm looks the most like an actual farm. When I think of fall in real life, I think of pumpkins, corn mazes, outdoor festivals, and dressing up in either jeans or khakis and a nice jacket, which is pretty on par with what your character just naturally wears in these games. This is the season where crops are at their best looking and at this point you've gotten into a groove and you're not trying to establish your farm as much. Not to mention the music. The fall music in Stardew Valley just relaxes me so much. It encompasses the cool breeziness of fall in such a perfect way that I could just play this game endlessly in the fall. And I pretty much did. I love wandering around the world of Stardew Valley and just picking up mushrooms, relaxing with the locals, and waiting for the day that my massive cranberry patch is finally ready to harvest. Now this was a tough decision, including the Animal Crossing track for Mario Kart 8 over Maple Treeway, but I just couldn't not have Animal Crossing somewhere on this list, and this track is just the most gorgeous manifestation of the season I've ever seen, from the beautiful twilight lighting, to the warm inviting village, to even just details that are as simple as the leaf piles that litter the ground along the track. The mixture of the Animal Crossing world with the beyond gorgeous graphics of Mario Kart 8 just elevate both for franchises to new heights to the point that I'm not sure that either of them would have made it past the fifth slot individually, but together they 
easily hit number two, but the only thing keeping them from the top slot is the fact that I can't actually leisurely walk around this area. Because I feel like if I could, I would just wander around a game that looks like this for hours. I wouldn't even do anything. I would just love existing in this virtual space. Now don't get me wrong, Animal Crossing New Horizons looks beyond phenomenal, but I think that if it were to look a bit more like this track, that would take the franchise to an unrivaled level of quality and beauty that it just hasn't reached quite yet. Okay, so this will come as no surprise to anyone who knows me and my channel, but the number one slot just has to go to the perfection that is the Akala region from Breath of the Wild, because it really encompasses everything that autumn is meant to be, from the dreary rainy days to the gorgeous fall foliage that just shines in the sunlight. In my first playthrough of Breath of the Wild, I specifically saved this area for last when I saw it in the distance because I knew that every other area would pale in comparison, and I just couldn't have been more right. This area is teeming with beautiful locations and wildlife that are further enhanced by the fall aesthetics, with the two best locations being the spring of power and the most awesome and amazing result of a questline in the game. Terrytown. Everything from the vibe of the area to the weather to even the fact that this is where you find the lovable and admittedly pretty creepy Kilton will literally sell you Halloween costumes for all intents and purposes makes this area so incredibly fall-like and just gushing with personality. The thought of the Akala region with the coziness of Terrytown, its soothing theme music, and the wind blowing through the trees in just the right way makes this area without a doubt one of the greatest fall areas in any video game that I have personally ever played. But that would do it for today's video guys and I want to pass the question off to you. Do you agree with my top five favorite autumn areas of all time or do you think that there are some games that I just kind of overlooked or maybe haven't played yet? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. While you're down there, why not liking this video? Why not subscribing to my channel? Why not even ring that notification bell? Because I make videos every other week. As always, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video. Later.